Here we are a few days before Pesach, before Passover. And we know there's a mitzvah of being happy, the Jewish holidays. And we think to ourselves, will that be possible with the situation the world and the Jewish people are in at this time? All the suffering that's being felt by people and the uh, sort of nervousness people are in. What's going to be? What's going to happen? How long, how long will this go for? <clears throat> I have to realize it's not the first time Jewish people are going through something difficult on the Pesach holiday, way back in the time of Mordechai and Esther. They fasted three days. Two of those days was on, on Pesach to, to, to try to negate the, the, the decree that Haman made against the Jewish people. We know the Inquisition, people made the Seder in hiding. People in the concentration camps made the Seder in hiding. People in Russia in the difficult freezing cold Siberia where they were sent to, they made Seders. So the question is, how did they be able to cope and to be able to be happy and to put their life on the line to keep the holiday and keep the Seder? What's the secret the Jews have that keeps us going through all difficult times? And this time also, we're going to go through it. We're going to be happy. The answer is, the secret is the words in the Holy Book of Song of Songs. King Solomon is the one who composed that wonderful book of the Song of Psalms. Shira Shirim. Discussing the great love between the Hashem, God, and the Jewish people. The greatest love story that was ever written. The love story between God and the Jewish people. Shira Shirim, the song of all songs. That's a good idea if we'd be able to learn that to say for that book over Pesach. We, we read it in Shul, that say for once a year. We read it on Pesach. Bring out the great love between Hashem and the Jewish people. And one of those psukim says, The love of the Jewish people and God is like a burning coal. There's two types of fire in the coal. One is the fire on the inside. You don't see it, but it's burning inside. Then there's a flame that could come outside to see. The difference is, the flame inside is very not noticeable, but it lasts for a long time on the inner part of the coal. A flame that comes out is much more able to burn things, but it doesn't last long. The connection between God and the Jewish people is a double connection. A fiery love between Hashem and the Jewish people, like the burning coal on the inside that lasts for a long time, doesn't go out, but at the same time, it's like a flame. It's very strong, very able to burn, very very visible. And this is what the secret is. Right afterwards, it puts in, and mighty, much water, and not able to extinguish this flame and the burning coal between Hashem and the Jewish people. A lot of water referring to all different types of waves that come our way to disturb this love between Hashem and the Jewish people, whether it's the nations of the world that try to destroy us, try to influence us to go away from our great religion of Yiddishkeit, of Yadus, of Judaism. Many people make gazebas, tyrants, try to break us away from Hashem. Many tyrants try to kill us. We have difficult times we go through like we're going through right now. But all this water cannot extinguish this strong fire. No matter how difficult circumstances are, we're able to go through it, keep our connection to Hashem, keep the love to Hashem. And that's the secret of the Jewish people, how we're able to keep this great connection between us and Hashem at all times. And nothing can stop it. Nothing can extinguish that love and that fiery love that we have to Hashem and He has to us. 
no matter what we're going through, we still feel that wonderful, great connection to Hashem, the Ava, the love to Hashem that has to us and we have to Him. We sit by the Seder. Because God comes with His own full members of His palace, we're told in the Holy Sefer of the Zohar, the Kabbalistic writings. Hashem comes with all of His angels to every Seder of the Jewish people and brags to his angel and says, look at my Jewish people, no matter what they're going through, they're sitting at the Seder, they have love for me, I have love for them. And we know that those close people that left the world, they also join us at the Seder. It's a wonderful gathering, Hashem, us and those Neshama, those souls that left the world that are close to us, we all come together at the Seder and it's the... Uh, wonderful feeling, the overwhelming feeling of our Ava that outshines any difficult feelings that we might have, difficult things we're going through. But this connection to Hashem and us outshines, overweighs any difficulties that we, that we might have and we're going through. Whether it's a Saturday night, but it's the whole holiday, a time of joy, a mitzvah to be, rejoice on the holiday because we're rejoicing this great connection and love that we have Hashem and He has for us. Nothing can stop and nothing can, can, can dissuade us, nothing can detract us from this great feeling that we have. We have to think about the long-term connection we have with Hashem. This world is just a temporary stop. Is a person going on a train on the way to uh, Florida it's looking forward in the middle of the winter. It's chilly, it's cold. He's going there, it's looking forward to it. And they have a stopover. And it's a cold place, it's a hot place, whatever. They're not comfortable. They said, don't worry, this is the only stopover. We're on our way to the great place you want to go to, you're going to have to enjoy yourself for the next two months. So a person doesn't think about it anymore, what the discomfort he has. Uh, what's the difference? He's there for a few minutes. He'll be going to his destination. He's going to enjoy himself for such a long time. It doesn't bother him the fact that for a few minutes or an hour, they have to stop over in a place that's not comfortable. This world is like a stopover. It's like a few minutes can, can compared to eternity. That's the real pleasure we're going to enjoy, being close to Hashem. The Jewish people, all our relatives, all, our, all the Jewish people together with Hashem, for eternally will be together with Him, enjoying the spiritual enjoyment, the real enjoyment that people have. This world is like a stopover. We can't allow that stopover to distract us from concentrating and, and focusing on what life is really all about, what we're headed for. It is, it, 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 it's insignificant what we go through in this world compared to what the world to come. So let's all realize and, and, and take seriously what Judaism is all about, what Jewish people are all about, what, what the world is all about. Even though we're going through difficult times, but the holiday of, of Pesach, and like all holidays, represents to us the real connection, the real feeling we have to Hashem, the real bond with the love between us and Hashem. And the difficulties that we go through become is insignificant when we think about the great uh, uh, connection we have to Hashem, the great eternal future that we have together with Him, the great joy and pleasure that we're going to be with Hashem in this world and the world to come. So everybody have a wonderful Pesach, wonderful Passover, a joyous one. Hashem should watch over us, give us a healthy Yom Tov, keep us healthy. Those who need a refuah, a cure, Hashem should help them. And we're praying to Hashem that He should get rid of this difficult time that we're going through, get things back to normal, and uh, we should grow from this whole situation that we're in. To think to ourselves what we're doing in this world like we just, just discussed now, it's a temporary place. We've got to do our best to shine, to do what we should be, in order for us to get this great future Hashem has in store for us, where we do the right things and, and conduct our lives in the right way of the Torah life, of doing what Hashem wants us to do. So have a very joyous kosher Passover, everybody, Pesach, and uh, we're looking forward to great news and great things to come.